Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at the Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the Panasonic Lumix G100 with the Vlogger Kit. And we'll see what's inside the box. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We will be following up this video with some more in-depth review videos and sample videos from the Lumix G100, but this is purely to unbox it and show you what's in the DC G100V box that you can order from Amazon UK. And that's exactly where I ordered mine from. So this is the vlogger box. As you can see at the top of the box, it shows you more or less what's in, the, in there. At the side, there's a G100, uh, details of the monopod, tripod, the fact that it's micro four thirds camera and 4K capable, a few more details on the side, but let's focus on what's inside rather than the packaging. So I also purchased a SanDisk Extreme 128 gigabyte memory card to go with this. And at a later date, we'll be looking at the lens I got for this camera as well. So nice box. It has the picture of the Lumix camera already mounted on the tripod. We lift that up and you've got the booklets. Panasonic are quite good at booklets. It's not like Sony where they include absolutely every language known to man, but you have the basic operating instructions here in the booklet. You have a warranty card, an invitation to register your product, leaflet about Panasonic G lenses. So that's micro four thirds lenses. I'm very familiar with this because I've been shooting with a Panasonic GX80 for a while, and I already have a series of micro four thirds lenses. The Tech Travel Geeks chief aperture officer, Lukas, also shoots with micro four thirds. So he has his amazing Panasonic GH5, as well as other Panasonic cameras using that. Now I've opened up the lid of the box where the documentation was, and inside the box, we've got a few things. Let's start off with the first one here. This is the camera. And as it comes out of the packaging, it already has the kit lens mounted on it. This is not the first time I've seen this kit lens. I already have the same lens that came with my Panasonic GX80. It's a zoom and focus lens. We'll look at the camera in a bit more detail in a moment, but I'll put it aside for now. So inside the box, there is also in bubble wrap, our tripod monopod, which is a, both a, a, a monopod and a tripod with its micro USB connector and buttons. So this is for holding the camera specifically for vlogging. That's what it's designed for. And let's open up this other box where we get a Lumix G strap. That's very handy as well as a UK mains plug to USB A. So that's USB A there. And let's have a look at the details on this. It outputs at five volts, one amp. So it's a five watt charger. So if you have a travel charger for your smartphone, you might want to use that instead of this. This is a less powerful one and you are unlikely to be able to charge your smartphone with one. So for travel purposes, for saving space, this may not be ideal. But then again, if you just want a dedicated charger for your camera, this is what is required. Now in here, there's also a USB-A to micro USB cable. So nothing new there. So just what we expected as well as a camera battery. So this is, let's check the exact battery model number. This is BLG 10E battery. 
It's a 1025 milliamp hour battery that goes in the camera. And there's also a wrist strap for the Panasonic G100. So I'd better take the charger cable and charger and battery and strap out. I'll put the rest of the packaging away. Whoop, there we go. And let's have a look at the camera itself. So this camera is what I was after. It is a compact camera from Panasonic. It uses the micro four thirds lens system, which I mentioned earlier. It has more importantly to me, a flippy screen so I can use it to see myself whilst I'm recording much in the same way as I'm using my Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 to record this video. It's pretty compact, but what I, I like is the ergonomics. It has a nice grip at the front and the optical viewfinder in this case is in the middle rather than at the side. Now this is a camera optimized for and targeted at vloggers, as I said, that's why this comes in. So the monopod or tripod option. And this is what it's all about. It's about using this to vlog. Now on the side, you'll see here, we have a micro HDMI port for connecting your camera to a TV or via a USB capture card to your PC. So you can do things like use this as a webcam. And there's also your micro USB for charging and transferring data. But another feature that this camera has and that my Panasonic GX80 doesn't have is a 3.5 millimeter microphone port on the side. That means that I can use an external microphone such as a lav mic or a lavalier mic or a shotgun mic, which can be mounted in the hot shoe section at the top. Something similar to the newer microphone that we purchased on Amazon a while back and the Tech Travel Geeks already have a video about or the Movo shotgun microphone that I use from time to time in some video situations. So. This is a quick overview of the camera with the kit lens. I also purchased a Sigma lens. I'll do a separate video about that because I'm actually quite excited about pairing a nice chunky piece of Japanese glass with uh, this not too chunky Panasonic Lumix G100 Micro Four Thirds camera. So the Panasonic Micro Four Thirds system is great in my view because it's compact, it's pretty travel friendly. You're not ch carrying around too much weight with you. And that's then lens system doesn't have a mirror within the body of the camera because it goes straight to the sensor at the back there. And in this case, it's a 20.3 megapixel sensor. It records 4K video. With image stabilization, it does perform a crop of that but then you get really decent 1080p video, as far as I've seen on other YouTube videos about this camera, as well as pretty decent stills performance. But it also depends on what lens you're using. And that's where the Micro Four Thirds system comes in. You just click here, move that to the side, and you can use that. The cool thing about this is that by pressing that, you're covering up the sensor, which is great. But that's just a quick view of, of the Micro Four Thirds system, which is great, I, I like that. And as well as that, the whole body of the camera with the vlogging kit. So keep an eye on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel in the coming days and weeks. We'll be doing more videos about the Panasonic Lumix G100, where we'll not only talk about the hardware, but about this video and stills performance. And if you keep an eye on my Adobe stock account, you'll likely see quite a few pictures popping up on there captured with the Panasonic Lumix G100. But for now, thanks for watching this Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of 
the Panasonic Lumix G100. And if you don't already, please do subscribe to us. And if you have any questions about the camera in the meantime, feel free to leave a comment in the section below and we'll do our best to get back to you. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from us.